In 2023, the Citrix Netscaler Gateway and Netscaler ADC products were affected by a buffer overflow vulnerability that allowed for MFA bypass and user session hijacking. This vulnerability, CVE 2023-4966, was dubbed Citrix Bleed. A new set of vulnerabilities affecting those same products has been discovered and one is being dubbed Citrix Bleed 2. The vulnerabilities CVE 2025-5349 and CVE 2025-5777 were disclosed by Citrix publicly on June 17, 2025. The highest interest vulnerability is the CVE 2025-5777, which works by using out-of-bounds memory reads to steal tokens and extract authentication data to bypass MFA and hijack user sessions, which sounds pretty similar to the OG Citrix split attack. In the formal Netscaler blog, it says that the vulnerabilities have not been seen exploited in the wild, but researchers at ReliaQuest have seen otherwise. While no public exploitation of CVE 2025-5777, dubbed Citrix Bleed 2, has been reported, ReliaQuest assesses with medium confidence that attackers are actively exploiting this vulnerability to gain initial access to targeted environments. In addition, Citrix has slowly been changing CVE's information as time progresses, with the original description of CVE 2025-5777 originally talking about how out-of-bounds memory reads for the Netscaler management interface was affected, but they eventually changed it to be more general about the Netscaler products. There are several versions of the ADC and Netscaler products that are affected by these vulnerabilities, so be sure to update your Citrix instances ASAP. Some affected are considered to be end of life, so hopefully this gets you to upgrade your instances.